squad must be feeling pretty good after that big win the other night. Yeah, no, obviously thrilled with how we started the season and was um, sort of an early grab of momentum with the opening pair, losing no wickets from that power play. And I think we're really happy that we followed that on into the second innings with the ball as well. It was a pretty complete performance. So heading down to Tasmania tomorrow, has there been any indication about whether you might get a debut um, tomorrow? Uh, not at this stage, but um, I don't think Ship likes to give us too much heads up with those sort of things, which is fine. I mean, I'll still prepare the same as I would for any other game as well. You come in as a replacement for Jackson Bird. Do you feel like you'll play a sort of a similar role in that you might, if you do get a debut, bowl in the power play and hopefully try and get some swing from the ball? Early? Yeah, I've done a lot of work with Jacko um, back at the Tigers for our state team as well. So he's someone I've drawn a lot of experience and, and knowledge from. So he's been really helpful in the last few days talking about you know, scenarios I might face if and when I do play the um, play a game. So I'm not sure exactly what my role will be. Um, we had a pretty uh, nice performance the other night, so I don't think I'll budge anyone out, but I'm happy to do whatever is presented in front of me. Of course, a couple of your teammates, Dan and Sean, um, about to become fathers or have just become fathers. Have you spoken to them at all about how they're going and how their partner's going? Uh, we got a little update from Dan yesterday, uh, obviously with the great news that everything was going pretty well. Uh, and I think uh, the club just throws its full support behind those two and giving them the time to still into becoming new families. Um, you've had a fantastic start in the Shield, particularly for Tasmania. What's the main thing you've sort of learned over the past two or three months playing down in Tasmania? Uh, one of the big learnings for me was uh, the challenges of playing consecutive um, first-class cricket. Uh, it was, certainly took a toll on the body after the first couple of games, but uh, I was just relishing having consecutive opportunities. I hadn't really strung too many games together before, so to put a few performances on the board uh, was really I was really happy with that and to contribute to a lot of team wins was really good for me as well. How is the body feeling at the moment? Any niggles for yourself? Are you feeling absolutely fine? Uh, no, I'm back and feeling pretty good now. It's a bit more of an altered preparation for these games, which is nice being able to give the body some time to relax and just getting my recovery done. So feeling pretty good. One of the big revelations about your game is the night watchman role, which you've actually relished so far in the shield. Um, if you get the opportunity to come in at the end of a big bash game and I needed to snack a few runs. Do you feel like you're capable of clearing the boundary, you know, first ball you come to the crease? Yeah, it's certainly probably a different ask to what I've been doing with the red ball game. But uh, no, I feel like I've, I've probably got those tools in the bag. And that's what I've been working on in the nets is really sort of that last few over scenario. So going from ball one. And of course, the uh, Hobart Hurricanes, a talented side. Um, who do you think is the biggest threat in their starting 11 that um, should be cautious of tomorrow? Yeah, a lot of familiar names in that. Um, uh, I think Ben McDermott is probably in some good nick and pretty hungry to put a good big bash together again after his recent form in some seasons. So, looking up for him. Playing against some of your Tasmanian teammates. Right? Yeah, it would be interesting. I mean, they obviously know me quite well as well. So, uh, if I do get the opportunity, it'll be a really good contest. I'm sure there'll be some good banter thrown about. Have you been in touch with any of the teammates? Any messages exchanged between you and McDermott or anyone? Uh, not specifically. I think they came up to Sydney a few days ago as well, just to begin their preparation too. But uh, no communication. Yeah, all the best. Cheers.